All righty, baseball fans. Welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Tonight is our second game of this three-game series between the visiting Naturals and your South, win your South Division San Antonio Missions. Well, tonight we are going to present our starting lineup. And I'm going to get go ahead and choose the porch. And we are going to begin tonight. Well, get out your scorecards and we'll present tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Batting first in right field is Sean Silver. Silver and right. Left field is Ellis Hodge. He'll bat second for the Naturals. Hodge in left. Third base, Domingo Veras. Veras at third. Second baseman, Otis Sharayest. Sigrist at second. First baseman, Fred Harris will bat fifth for the Naturals. Harris at first. Catching is Kenny Noonan. Nonan catching. Shortstop Dan Wang. Wang at short. Designated hitter Lewis Pacheco. Pacheco the DH. Center field is Danielle Willie. Willie at center. And for the guy starting for the naturals pitcher. Alex Navar, Navar tonight's starting Naturals pitcher. And now it's time for your San Antonio Missions. Batting first and center fielder, Chris Vasquez. Second is Wilson McCormick. McCormick in right. Left fielder, Felipe Seria, Seria at left. Designated hitter, Craig Medano, Medrano, the DH. Gilberto Lopez will bat fifth for the missions. Lopez at second. First base is Angel Aquino, Aquino at first. Catching is Johan Barrera. Barrera catching. Shortstop Jose Rondon will bat eighth for the missions. Rondon at short. Third baseman Eldon Dunn will bat ninth for the San Antonio missions. Dunn at third. Guy and for the good guys, starting pitcher for the San Antonio Missions this evening, Larry Granger. Granger, tonight's Missions pitcher. Now, let's get ready to have this next game. San Antonio Missions versus Northwest Arkansas. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the San Antonio Missions. Live baseball here on MLB Network and it comes your way next. Larry Ranger, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. What do you have for us on MH? Well, he uses both the four-seam and the two-seam fastball, and what I like about it is the movement that he's able to create with both those fastballs. Settling in now, Sean Silver. He'll get us started in this one Northwest under Arkansas. the lights. Right fielder. Sean Ripped on the ground at first. 
Aquino scoops it up, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, Matt, this is a pitcher's duel all the way. And the key here is going to be how do you score runs if you get any. You get a runner on, you're going to have to be aggressive. You hit a ball in the gap, and he's on first base. Send him home. Take those chances because they're not going to be very often. Ellis Hodge is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, McCormick. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting third, third baseman. Stepping Domingo into the box, Veras. Domingo Veras. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. McCormick is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Alex Navarre, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I love the fact he mixes them well. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing Leading strikes with San all of them, and he'll have a dominant game Center if he does Gilder. so. Digging Chris in, Chris Vasquez. Vasquez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Down the third baseline. Oh, what a dive. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Right fielder At the Wilson plate, Wilson McCormick. McCormick. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, that's a nice base hit right there, but it means more than just a nice base hit. The leadoff guy didn't get going, but now here comes the thunder with a man on base. This is when big innings happen. Standing in now, Felipe Sierra to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Into the box, Otis Seacrest. He'll look Arkansas. to get something going here in Second this scoreless baseman. ball game. Otis Seacrest. Grounded back up the middle. Rondon gloves it. For the first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic, the right fielder. It's not often you say the right fielder's the best outfielder in the outfield, but this guy is. He's got a great arm, and he's got tremendous speed. Love watching him perform out there. Hopefully they'll hit some balls from today so he can show off. Digging in, Fred Harris. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Sierra is in pursuit and he tracks it down a nice running play to record the second out ready now Kenny Noonan pitch on the way right over the middle knee high pretty much an obligatory take that time yeah when the first two guys in the inning make first pitch outs you really don't have much choice dribbled to the right side Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping in, Craig Medrano. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Craig Medrano. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Well, that's such a great pitch for the pitcher. It's so hard to lay off a changeup when you're looking for the fastball in the first pitch. And clearly, he was looking fastball. The 0-1. 
out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And now time is called for and granted by home plate umpire Clyde Washington. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. I'm looking at the first baseman. He's made such a great transition to first base. Being able to catch the ball, he's quite an athlete. Being able to move around, he's nimble, and he'll turn a pivot on double play. He's really done a nice job over there. Well, that wasn't a very good pitch to hit, but there's a lot of hits up the middle. Dropped the bat head on it, stayed with it, and just took it back up the box. Angel Aquino. Into the box, Angel Aquino, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that'll get down for a base hit. Oh, he hits a little dying quail behind the infield. I tell you what, he couldn't have thrown that ball any seven. better. Talk about That's placement. Right. That was perfect. Johan Barrera. Let's go. Stepping in now, Johan Barrera as he sends it on the ground to first. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Batting eight. The shortstop. Now in the box, Jose Rondon. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hit down the third baseline. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Striding in, Dane Wang. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Gun is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So digging in now, Luis Pacheco. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a knee-high fastball. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. The 0-1 delivery. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Batting ninth. Digging Center in fielder. now, Daniel, Daniel Wiley. And Wiley. Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hit. McCormick is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Standing in, Eldon Dunn. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And before the 0-1 pitch, he'll step out of the box and get his bearings a bit. Hit the other way out toward right field. Silver over to his right makes the play one away. Center fielder number double stepping zero. in and ready for another Chris shot. Chris Vasquez. Vasquez 0 for 1 here in the early going. 
lined hard toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. Striding in once again, Wilson McCormick. Wilson McCormick. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit sharply to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag. A safe at the plate. Well, the show track will demonstrate here. The result of that play may have been much different if not for the great speed. He was pumping his arms, chugging the legs the whole way, and made it just in time to score the run. Into the box now, Felipe Sierra. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0-2. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Looped down towards short. And a leaping effort there, but it's over his head into left center, a base hit. Two strike hitting. Man, you love it when guys are able to fight the ball off and get a hit. Right here, he fights it off and flips it over the middle infielder's head. Standing in now, Craig Medrano. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 0-1 pitch. Lifted into center field. Wiley is there. Two gone. Now Digging in to try it again. Gilberto Lowe. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here's the first pitch chopped foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Hodge racing. Oh, it's gone. And it's gone. So a three-run blast is straight away left as they move on top four to nothing. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run, but it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three-run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Now batting. First In now, Angel, Angel Aquino, Aquino as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. We played three full. It's now a four-nothing ball game. Ready for another chance? Sean Silver back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. This one's flared out toward left. Sierra moving to his left. Makes the play one away. The Digging in for his second at-bat. Ellis, Ellis Hodge, Hodge comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty Domingo. impressive, Matt. I really Harris. like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Rip down the first base line. On the ground, softly towards second. Lopes fields it cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. Stepping up now, Johan Barrera. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's down and away and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm looking for, first pitch, but I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Here now is Jose Rondon. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. Return throw not in time, and that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. Now batting. Third baseman. So coming to the plate, Eldon Dunn. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. There's one on oh, the first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings, as that one will retire the side. Now at the plate, Otis Seacrest. Leading off for one for him here in this one. Ball hit high and foul okay. down the left field line. Secret. It's strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hit on the ground toward the left. Dunn ranges to his left. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now batting. First baseman. Fred Harris. So striding forward now. Fred Harris comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fouled straight back. Ground ball right side to his left, Lopes. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. A look at our line score to this Kevin point, and I'm Newman. almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Now at the plate, Kenny Noonan. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Lopes in the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Last half of the fifth coming up. The missions lead it four to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Chris Vasquez. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Fielder, Chris. Into the windup and the pitch. On the ground, up the middle. Backhanded. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Right Digging in once again, Wilson, Wilson McCormick. McCormick. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A little bouncer. He hasn't used that pitch much this game. That's one he's been working on in the bullpen, and now he's brought it into the game. He's able to incorporate that in his stuff. Look out. The windup and the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Another one sent foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner back through the box. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Woo, that ball was close right there. Whizzed right by his ear. 
Matt, well, they always say Chuck and well, Duck. Well, that's an example Sierra. of it right there. Into the box, Felipe Sierra. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. He's one for two in this one. Here comes the 0-1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in for his second at bat, Dane Wang. For the 0 for natural. 1 for him here in this one. Well, he's having a good amount of success Wang. here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Sierra is there. He's got it one away. Now batting, designated hitter, Luis Pacheco. Ready for another chance. Luis Pacheco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. One out, nobody on. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Fly ball out toward left center field. Vasquez on the move, but the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And there are two gone now. Daniel Stepping in and ready for another shot, Daniel Wiley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Calling for it, Lopes. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Carlos Esquivel enters now to do the pitching in the bottom Arkansas. of the sixth. Number 10, Carlos Esquivel. Digging in once again, Craig Madrano. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Craig Madrano. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Well, he got him to chase a fastball right there off the play. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him chasing out of the zone very often. That just tells me the pitcher's got pretty good stuff. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Popped high in the air. Veras is going to get there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The batter. Gilberto Lopes will step toward the box here, and as he does, we flash you back to inning number three as you check out his three-run home run. A big blow early on. Sent on the ground out to second. Seacrest takes it in. Pro yeah. gets him two down. Now batting. First baseman. Angel. Aquino. Ready once again. Angel Aquino. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, he got jammed on that one right there, and he's just strong enough to muscle it in the right field for the base hit. It's going to be a line drive tomorrow in the paper. Barrera.
Into the box now. Johan Barrera. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will land foul. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 0 1 pitch. Grounded to the right. And that's through for a hit. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing. And now look at him. Boom, boom. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Standing in now, Jose Rondon. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Line to the right side. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. Before we start the seventh, let's pause to take a quick look at how we got here. It's our game summary through the first six innings of play. And digging in to try it again, Sean Silver. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Swinging on the first pitch as he hits this one on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Riding in once again, Ellis Hodge. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every hit. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Third baseman, Domingo. Into the box now, Domingo Veras. He comes in 0-2 thus far. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Fastball calls for strike two. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Otis Seacrest. Slow roller back to the mound. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. At another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. Now to the plate, Eldon Dunn. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Third baseman, Eldon Dunn. Q shot here out towards short. And this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. Center fielder number double zero. Ready for another Chris shot now. Vasquez. Chris Vasquez. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Swing and a liner. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Back-to-back -back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but, now, man, they're swinging the bat pretty right good. Fielder. These two guys saw him pretty Wilson. good. Let's see what Mark happens Harvey. now. Into the box, Wilson McCormick. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He swings and grounds it to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Relay to first, 
in time, and just like that, the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The missions lead it four to nothing. Standing in, Fred Harris. We're in the eighth now, and Leading nothing's the changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And there's the first out. Now batting, catcher, Kenny. Now in the Noonan. box, Kenny Noonan, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there fits in at 90% of hitters he's throwing first pitch strike to. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Again, he sends it out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. High pop-up. Ranger is there for it. Two gone. Now batting. Stepping Jordan. into the box, Dane, Dane Wang. Wang. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. At the plate, Felipe... Sierra. Leading He'll see what he can Antonio. do leading off the home aid. Left Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw Sierra. out there. Zero. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Another 0-2 home. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Liner towards second. And that will make him one for four in this one. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's a fastball chop fouled at the plate at strike one. Now the 0-1. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Luis... Pacheco, he'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Hit to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Center fielder number eight, Daniel Wiley. In now, Daniel Wiley. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Grounded back up the middle. Rondon is right there on the first, and they're in out away. Two gone here in the ninth. The right fielder number first. 
Sean striding into Silver. the box. Sean Silver. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Well, that shot tells you everything you need to know. He's really a little frustrated tonight. Uh, this has been a tough game. They haven't swung the bats well, and they need to start getting some offense going. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 4 nothing to score tonight. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Blazak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Fans, our final line score first for the victorious mission. Four runs, 13 hits. No error. Left eight minutes. Well, that is just about it for tonight our third game of this three game post game series will continue tomorrow after after that we will have a three game series with the Tulsa drillers oh, yeah. well that just about does it We'll see y'all later.